What up guys, I'm here and I'm here to do a bicep, tricep and forearm workout. So let's get in the gym and show you what it's all about. Right, first is tricep push machine. What I want you to do on this, as it's the first movement, is put on as much weight as you can do 12 reps because you want to do as a sort of heavy set on your first movement basically i'm going to be doing up in the weight up in the weight and then another the third set i'm going to be like maybe getting six next going on the cable rope pull down machine what you want to do is you want to do 12 sets of three on a weight that you're struggling for the last two to three reps. I start on this and flick the wrists out and then I go on to a bar which is more isolating the triceps as I can't move my wrists anywhere. Then I go and concentrate on single arm pull downs. This isolates each arm so you, you won't have one arm growing bigger than the other because as you do have that if you're using bars. Next I'm going on a bicep curl machine. You can use dumbbells but Sometimes I like to use this because it is a fixed position. So I start off warming up my arms, both sides, and then I select a heavier weight and do both arms at the same time. I usually do three sets of 12, upping the weight each time. And then I also put a drop set in this because I feel like as it's my arms, I want my arms to get bigger. So I want to do one extra set just to help them grow more. Next, I'm doing a forearm exercise. This will strengthen your forearms and it's basically the, it works on the bulge between your elbow as you can see if you can see it on there you need to do it on light weights though you will not be able to lift heavy weights on these then i go straight onto the preacher kill table i'm use a barbell easy bar first this helps the short head of your bicep which is the inside of your bicep and what I like doing is I like keeping the same weight for this one because after this I will be doing single dumbbell curls on the bench where I'm isolating obviously each arm. Make sure you are fully contraction all the way up to the top and when you get to the top you squeeze. Also, you can turn and so you're basically pulling out your pinky and it's contracting even more. Do not put your arm all the way down because you can cause injury by trying to put your arm all the way down, especially if you're lifting heavier weights. I usually up the weight, I usually go start from 8 and then I go to 10 to 12. Unless I'm feeling strong, I start on a 12. Now, this is a brilliant move. It's not just normal barbell curls. I am going up quickly and I'm going 8 seconds down. Scientific facts that more growth is in going downwards 
Then I'm just finishing up with inner forearm curls. What you want to do is you want to get a bar, slide it down your fingers and just squeeze up a really light bar. Then I'm finishing off with wrist curls. This basically whips your forearm all the way down and you want to do this both sides 15 times three sets and the same with the inner barbell curl and that's it please subscribe please like it have a good day